Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Destiny 2. So we're going to continue the story. Haven't played Destiny in like a week because I've been playing a shitload of Diablo. I do like my fish tank though. Um, but yeah, I haven't played literally since like Wednesday last week. So yeah, I'm pretty much coming back for the story at this point. Sooner or later, other games will lull down. Both Zelda and Diablo are taking a lot of time. I haven't even played Zelda for a bit because, you know, Diablo is very, very fun. So, let's continue the story. Uh, I assume I have to talk to the Hollow Projector. It's usually what I have to do. Indeed. What's the word, brother? All this Golden Age tech is impressive stuff. Almost makes you wonder how they lost back then. You dig? About that. Fair point. If we're looking to win this time, I need Savathun's swamp to wash up a few finishing touches for my rig. Cracking skulls and looting halls is your bag, hero. That's why you're headed to her throne world. That pyramid Savvy brought down, it's cut off from the witness. Scorn bigwigs been digging tech we can use out of that burning heap. All you have to do is find them and take it. Then you let old Drifter worry about the kit bashing. Easy. Interesting. Hey, uh, one more thing. Zivu dripping nonsense in your head, too? She's been recounting some of my more heroic exploits. Dark Ages been on my mind. Mm. You know how the past is? You pull the trigger and people die, so you don't have to. Then, someone comes along and wants to forgive you for that. Like it's fine. Won't ask what Zivu's dredging up for a killer like you. Wouldn't be polite. Thunderguns down there, though. Been under pressure so long. Everybody's looking for cracks. Don't get me wrong, coin to table. She's been through it. But I don't think Sloane's looking to be told it's fine. Cause it ain't. Cause it needs to be ugly to win. And then you live with it. See you on the other side. It's a good line, Drifter. Drifter says he puts the salvage you brought up to good use, but you need parts for a different type of machinery to further improve his device. I need to have a thune swamp to wash up a few fishing touches. Finishing touches for my rig, he elaborates. He entrusts you to travel through Savathun's throne world and secure a piece of pyrenic technology from the scorn. With it, he can modify his extraction equipment to work with the deepest trenches of Kraken Mare. Interesting. Oh, that was easy. Didn't even have to finish the fucking lost sector. Saint, I've heard the stories, but what actually happened to Osiris? I only know what he has told me, and that I have never seen Osiris soundly beaten. Zivu Arath drew him into a trap. He slaughtered Hive that she took power from. His light was not enough. He wonders if Strand would have been. I saw her projection on Titan before Asa found me. How do we fight something like that? I do not know. Any way we can. So I just did a tier 6 there, by the way, with randos. Died like three times on the boss. Like, actual, like, full wipe three times on the boss. Which, you know, not the best, but my randos pulled it off, so I'll take it. All right, everybody. Uh, so, when I did that deep dive, I leveled up to rank 30, which was the last thing I needed to advance my guardian rank, so I may as well do that. Um, 
Let's have a look, shall we? Rank 50 on the season pass. Nightfall's already done. Uh, last perk activated. And power bonus, so just get levels. Complete goes to the deep, easy. Commendations, increase your commendation score by 9, 10 or higher. I'm pretty sure my commendation score is already... Oh no, it's not. Interesting. I vaguely remember at the start of the season I had like thousands still. Maybe they hadn't reset it properly. Whatever. That's fine. I'll get that easily. So commendations, which will happen soon. Before the levels, honestly. So really, finishing the... <laughs> the only thing I really have to do here is finish levels. And then we hit rank 10. And then rank 10, I think the only thing... Oh. I don't know. I don't know the difference here. Two out of three. I think I need to solo the newest dungeon, right? So I'll need to solo Ghost of the Deep. But that's fine. I plan on doing that anyway for the title, so we're good. This is awful. <laughs> sure is. You ever been outside of Seoul? Never had a reason to. Hmm. Can't say I recommend it. Saw some stuff while I was out there. Bad stuff. A world colder than you can imagine. Creatures that suppressed the light. My crew. Let's just say we wore out our welcome. Creatures started closing in. Trigger fingers got itchy. Some of us froze to death. A lightless final death. The others... They didn't go so quiet. Not until I shut them up. Not sure how long I stayed after that. Had to mod my ghost to survive. Used the parts from... I did what it took to get off-world, and now I'm here. I'm no stranger to combat, but... How did you leave it all behind? I didn't. Some things you carry with you forever. But eventually, they stop feeling too heavy to lift. Hmm. It's a good line. Thanks for the drink, Drifter. <laughs> Anytime, Sloan. Actually, I think that's an old lore book. I've definitely read that story. Essentially, they were on an ice planet and their light there were light disruptors. And the first guy, like, froze to death, and he's like, and they didn't care, right? Because, like, as they were going through, people were freezing to death all the time. Because they were dying of starvation, or they were dying of freezing. But then they get revived by their ghost, and they're good again. But then someone froze to death in a light suppression field. And he didn't come back. It's, uh... Scary stuff if you think you're immortal, and then suddenly, you're not. Also, I'm pretty sure after he modded his ghost, his ghost has never spoken again. It's the only ghost that has um, the little light in the middle is red on Jermaine's ghost or the Drifter's ghost, I should say. Um, and it just it can't communicate anymore. It still brings him back to life, but it doesn't talk. It's uh, been lobotomized or something or something. Because he used uh, the shells of the ghosts of his friends, plus, I think, darkness technology. Like, because there was darkness technology that was suppressing the light. And he took that and used it into his ghost, so that his ghost could resist the darkness suppression. Um, but yeah, it kind of... 
lobotomized his ghost, hasn't spoken since, which was like, you know, thousands of years ago. But, uh, yeah. It's really cool lore. I think it's on... I mean, I'm not going to be able to find this in my collections, probably, but... Oh, yeah, I'm back. I couldn't find the ghost. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there is actually Drifter's Ghost you can actually collect at some point. It was in one of the older seasons, but I couldn't find it in collections. I know it's there somewhere, but... Um, yeah, it's it's got some interesting lore on it about the Drifter and these past. Anyway, let's go talk to Sloane, shall we? Anathema. Calamity. That which cannot, must not come to pass. A wordless denial. A fleeing god. Betrayal. And escape. The pursuit. For the final shape. <sighs> I didn't think there was much new there, if I'm being perfectly honest. I'm going to turn my HUD back on. The reason I turned that off, by the way, is just so I can have, um... <laughs> a clear view, so I could get a thumbnail of the Drifter and Sloan drinking. That's why I did that, by the way. We're almost there. My link with Asa feels crystal clear. It's... A little frightening, but strangely comforting, too. A lot changed while I was gone. It feels like... Like the entire universe moved on without me, and now I'm struggling to catch up. Mm. Old enemies became new allies. New enemies wield the light against us. And old allies... Friends... Like Amanda... Sometimes I wonder, if I returned to the tower, would it even be my home anymore? Or would I just be a phantom? <laughs> Forgotten memory wandering its streets at night. Zivu Arath's voice keeps telling me I don't belong there. That the battlefield is my home. That it always has been. Maybe she's right. Maybe reliving what I went through over and over again is a way for me to stay in familiar territory. To remain in the hell that I know. And avoid the one I dread. Either way, the mission comes first. I have to see it through to the end, regardless of where I end up when it's done. Respectable. Sad, but respectable. Sloane opens up to you about all she's been struggling with since Titan's re return. Much has happened while she's been gone, leaving her feeling like it's impossible to catch up to it all. If I return to the tower, would I even be my home anymore? She relates how Zivaroa's voice has been echoing in her head, telling her that only places she belongs is on the battlefield. Sloane has to wonder if she might be right. Either way, the deputy commander is fully committed to seeing the mission through, regardless of where she ends up when it's done. Yeah... I mean, I get it. Life of a soldier. The ever forward march of time has a humorous way of looping in on itself. Doesn't it? In some ways, a long lived perspective makes it difficult not to see trends die and resurface. Do you think that's how the witness sees us? Variations of potential or lack thereof? What's really on your mind? Slow. She is singularly focused on her mission. That type of focus. You forget to come up for air. It's like a death when it's over. Mm. Your command can be an anchor. Keep her from drifting. That's what I tried to do for you. 
I seem to recall pushing back against your methods quite often. The Dark Age drove us to extremes. Your style of leadership is more refined than mine. <laughs> Diplomatic way of putting it. Was it long ago that I was your pupil? Since then, I'd like to think we've developed a trust beyond authority or duty. How did you foster that friendship while being my superior? You're not listening, Zavala. I didn't. Remember, you left my tutelage. All I did was give you the lessons I thought you needed to survive. Nothing more. You're saying I can't be all things. I'm saying I can't tell you what you want because our friendship was not of my making. When the Iron Lords fell, when the Red Legion caged the Traveler, when the pyramids filled our skies, my heart was not open. You were. Despite your doubts, others see you as a pillar of strength. They're drawn to the shade you provide. Just stay standing. That was really good. <laughs> These, I think the best part about the story thus far, like the first week and seeing Asa and saying, oh yeah, she's a Leviathan, quote unquote, or she's potentially a worm god, question mark. Um, that's really cool. And conceptually, the lore behind it is really cool. But the actual storytelling week to week has been far more interesting in these. These and the little conversations between the people before you go in and actually get the memory from Asa. Or rather, the translation from Asa. Why are you glowing at me? Is it just because I have engrams? I think it's just because I have engrams available. That's fine. Alright, well, I think that's it. Let me check the quest, but I think it's probably wait until there's more stuff. Uh, yes, they'll inform you once Sloan and us are ready to boost their bond again. Cool. Well, that's cool. That's going to be it for this video, then. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Where we'll do uh, more story, because I'll probably be playing Diablo up until uh, next week. So, you know. <laughs> Currently, my weekly dip into Destiny is to do the story and do a bit of grinding, and then... After that day, I'm done, and then I go play other games until all those other games are complete, and then I'll be dragged back to Destiny, no doubt. But for now, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time, guys.